And now for the latest on a story you've seen right here on Justice. Jordan Graham, the newlywed bride, accused of pushing her husband, Cody Johnson, off a cliff to his death just four days after saying, I do, pled not guilty to murder charges. Graham is still out of jail, released on her own recognizance, and she claims that Johnson's death was an accident. She faces life in prison if convicted. The next hearing scheduled October 15th. We're back with attorney Steve Razor. Uh, all right, Steve, I mean, uh, is this a case of uh, she says he can't say because he's at the bottom of the cliff? Well, unfortunately, she's already said enough to convict herself. So she what, has? what has she said? Sure. I mean, she, she admitted to pushing him off the cliff, for one, and she admitted to doing it out of anger. And she also defeated any possibility of a self-defense claim by saying that she moved away from him. He turned around. His back was to her. She could have walked away but didn't, and out of anger, pushed him off the cliff. Did she it's say over. out of anger? She did. Okay. She said she was angry, and that's why she did it. That's why she couldn't control herself. She, she pushed him. And basically, she set up a manslaughter, so-called manslaughter defense, in that that is what ultimately the DA, I mean, I'm sorry, the federal government here, right. the U.S. Attorney's yeah. Office, is going to be able to prove. All right, and, you know, there are those who say that this is really a self-defense case, that, uh, you know, that she can, she's going to claim that he pushed her first and that, you know, she pushed him back. Nonsense. It's not going to happen. It's not based it's, on the facts. It's I mean, not, you know they argue nonsense all the time. Well, that's true, but and now, assuming that the statements are true, if she's going to try and challenge the statements, but the statements Well, we know that, she's a liar because at first she said she didn't know where he was, and then she decided to go look at a particular cliff. <laughs> well, okay, and that, that's very much true, and that's the thing. In this case, if you believe the statements, she is guilty. She defeats her self-defense claim, and regardless of whatever their relationship was, like you said, they went up on this cliff together, apparently without any fear on her part. She's the one that pushed him off. She said, remember, she could have walked away, not that she could have ran away. She could have walked away and chose not to. All right. All right. That's a big Steve problem. Razor, thanks for being with us Thank tonight. Thank you, Judge. And now it's time to reveal the results of tonight's Instapol. We asked you who's at fault, the SUV driver or the biker gang. We had more responses than ever, almost 10,000. Most believe the bikers are at fault. Bobby writes, bikers, motorcyclists, anyone else would have done the same thing. Mob mentality does not equal intelligence. Josephine says the poor SUV driver must have been out of his mind with fear for his families. But a few others saw it differently. Kathleen writes, if the SUV driver just stopped and said, are you okay and I'm sorry, instead of speeding off, things wouldn't have gone the way they did. Kathleen, you're living on another planet. Eddie tweets, I would never get my family in that close to a group of bikes. Common sense tells you it will not turn out well. The guy was trying to get away. They swarmed him. That's it for us tonight. Thanks for joining us. Remember, me to, remember to friend me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at Judge Janine. See you next week. Same time, same place, same me.